Hi there, thank you so much for joining today's presentation on Living Off Campus, presented by Northeastern's Off Campus Housing and Support Services. So again, we are Off Campus Housing and Support Services, or OCHSS. Our contact info is right there on the screen. You can reach us via phone or email any day, Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. On campus, you'll find us in 151 Sphere Hall. And our website, northeastern.edu slash off campus, is another helpful resource as well. So just to know what we do, OCHSS provides Boston housing search and relocation advice. So whether you're finding an apartment here in Boston or plan to leave Boston, whether that's domestically or internationally, or co-op or some other academic program that's making you leave Boston, we can help with that apartment search process and connecting you to realtors and roommates. We also do support and education, so helping you know your renters' rights and responsibilities. We can read your lease so you know what you're signing, and we can also help you avoid scams and answer any questions you may have about what's being asked of you. We also do community connection, so something that's very important to us is providing events to help you connect with your community. And then we also provide events to meet other Huskies in your area, whether that's right here in Boston or beyond. First and foremost, our website is going to be your most helpful resource, and that's northeastern.edu slash off campus. We have tons of helpful information on your apartment search and your move, uh, whether that's learning about utilities, subletting, or moving in storage. Anything that you can think of when it comes to living off campus, you will find on our website, so we encourage you to begin there. More specifically, we do have an international student apartment search website, which is a good resource, of course, if you are an international student and renting <clears throat> for the first time in the United States. We also have an international student apartment guide that will be helpful uh, for you to download. It does have helpful uh, definitions of key terms um, and just what to avoid and, and what to kind of use as guidelines as you're renting for that first time. That website is northeastern.edu slash off campus slash international students. So before we get started, we'll go over some key terms that are helpful to know in your apartment search. A tenant is a person renting the apartment. A landlord is the owner of the apartment. A realtor, which is sometimes known as an agent or broker, is the person that represents the landlord and shows you the apartment and lots of times gives you all of that documentation needed and to sign prior to securing the apartment. A lease is a legally binding contract between the tenant and the landlord. And a sublet is when someone takes over your room or apartment during the lease term and starts paying the rent for you. You must have the landlord's written permission before you can sublet. Now, before you arrive in Boston or in the United States, we do recommend that you secure temporary housing first before securing a long-term accommodation. Now, this is because we want you to have a place to actually go once you come off the plane. And then once you arrive in Boston, then it will be a good idea to schedule apartment showings and sign a lease only once you've seen the place. You never want to sign documents before you've seen an apartment in person, and we never recommend sending money from abroad to secure an apartment. The website for temporary housing is northeastern.edu slash off campus slash temporary housing. Once you're ready to secure a more long-term accommodation and sign a year-long lease or even find a sublet, you'll start with our apartment housing database, and that is aptsearch.northeastern.edu. This database, you'll be able to find roommates, apartment listings, realtors, or a possible sublet, and you can sign up for free for this website as long as you have Husky credentials. This website will also help you find a quality realtor, and 
Some characteristics that make up a quality realtor are they list the office location, they can answer any questions that you may have, they show you real available properties, they're in good standing with the Better Business Bureau, and of course they pass that gut test. So if you're getting a feeling that something may be fishy or that you have questions about something, of course you can always ask us, um, but you wanna make sure they're passing that gut test as well. Again, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about a realtor's standing. On the apartment search database, you can also create a roommate profile. You can filter for roommates, find roommates, find open rooms, and message people directly. Now, when you are ready to secure your more long-term accommodation, you have many considerations, such as proximity to campus, you want to find your roommates carefully and make sure that they're people that you like to live with. You also want to plan for, for first month's rent, last month's rent, a security deposit, and a broker's fee to pay upfront. So this can be an initial expensive um, first deposit and, and money to come up with, but you do want to make sure you have these funds to secure a long-term accommodation. You may need a co-signer or your visa information to sign for an apartment. And just know that the standard lease is September 1st to August 31st. Also know that unfurnished apartments are the norm, meaning you'll have to secure furniture, whether that be purchasing it from someone, maybe the previous tenant, or renting furniture is an option too. <clears throat> if you are looking to live in a place not for necessarily a year, or but maybe a few months, maybe subletting is a good option or temporary housing as well. <clears throat> as far as your rights as a tenant, you do have rights when renting in Boston in the United States. Of course, rights to running water, rights to a working sink, stove, and oven, and of course, your right to a pest-free apartment. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are also something called rental delivery standards, meaning that when a landlord gives you an apartment on the first day of your term, <clears throat> The, the apartment must meet delivery standards, and these are the apartment must be clean and sanitary. The landlord must have posted contact information of the property owner so you know who to contact. The apartment must have working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, and it must be safe as well. Your responsibilities as a tenant are to pay the full rent on time, usually the first of the month, to follow the lease rules, report or document any damages or maintenance needed as soon as they happen, communicating with the landlord, keeping the apartment clean and sanitary and removing any garbage or recycling, being responsible for your conduct and your guest conduct as well. Any guests that visit you, you will be responsible for their behavior. Also, only allowing tenants on the lease to stay in the apartment. There is a rule in the city of Boston called the no more than four rule that prevents any more than four undergraduates to live in the same apartment. Now, this is a rule to prevent overcrowding. If you have any questions about this law, feel free to reach out to us. And finally, when you leave the apartment, making sure that you leave the apartment in good condition. Next, we'll go over lease contracts, as this will be an important component when you go to secure your long-term apartment. Leases must include the name of all tenants, the landlord's contact information, the address and of the apartment and unit number, the term of the lease, the monthly rent amount, who to contact for repairs, what's included for utilities, any subletting conditions or guest policies, before you sign a lease, do email it to offcampus at northeastern.edu and we'll review it for you to make sure that you know what you're signing and to review for any illegal clauses. Some key terms for leases. Jointly and severally means that tenants are considered one entity and jointly responsible for the rent and the apartment itself. An addendum, <coughs> excuse me, 
<laughs> An addendum is the landlord's additional rules and is a document that usually accompanies a standard lease. A legal notice is a notice received from a landlord if rent is not paid on time. Eviction is the legal process a landlord can take to remove tenants that violate the lease agreement. We do recommend you check out our video series on our website, northeastern.edu slash off-campus slash videos. Some videos that you may be able to watch, and of course we do have more than what's on the screen here, um, knowing if your apartment is up to code and if it meets those delivery standards that we talked about, and learned communication tips as well. So knowing how to communicate with your landlord to ensure that they take action if needed. Finally, we have something called the Husky Tracks newsletter that gets sent out monthly. These newsletters have tons of helpful information. I cannot stress that enough. And you can subscribe to that newsletter at northeastern.edu slash off-campus slash newsletter. These newsletters have information on Boston area events, on-campus events, helpful terms and resources to know that have to do with living off campus. We do absolutely recommend that you subscribe as you'll receive it monthly. Thank you so much for joining. This does wrap up today's webinar. You can find us on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at NU Off Campus. And again, keep in mind, you can contact us via phone or email via the email and phone number listed on your screen. Thanks so much for joining.